next one is aperture. There's an aperture inside the lens and we're going to use this chest set to have a look at how aperture works. Let's have a look at this chest set to determine depth of field. The two knights that are in the centre are nice and sharp, but the background is blurry. I'm using an f-stop of 2.8. That's a large hole in the centre of the lens. You could say that the aperture is wide open. My ISO at the moment is 100 and my shutter speed is 50. Let's change it now. So instead of a large hole in the centre, we make it a very small hole. I'll change my f-stop. Instead of being 2.8, I'm going to go to 22. I'm then forced to increase my ISO so we can see the image. I've increased my ISO all the way up to 4000. My shutter speed stayed at 50. But you can see where the aperture is now a tiny hole in the middle of the lens. It's a closed down aperture. It's a small aperture. It doesn't allow much light, so I had to increase my ISO. But at f22, everything's in focus. This is how you manipulate depth of field. This is why there is an aperture ring in the first place. Sometimes you want a blurry background and sometimes you don't. This is a 35mm 1.4 lens. You can see inside the lens in the centre there the leafs of the aperture. In this case, because it's a professional grade lens, there are nine. Some have seven. This is set currently to f16. It has a very small hole in the centre which doesn't allow much light to come in. If I start to open up the aperture, you can see the leaves move. And I can open this particular lens all the way up to 1.4. You can imagine that would let in a lot more light. That means I could use a faster shutter speed or maybe lower my ISO. Whereas as we close down the aperture all the way down to f16 we would then have to decrease the shutter speed or increase the ISO because not much light comes in. This is 5.6 where I take a majority I would say of my images but every now and again I do need to shoot at 1.4 Every now and again, I do need to shoot at f16 or f11. You can even see here that there is a shallow depth of field. So if I move my focus point, you can see the screws there, but you can't see the aperture blades now. Or I can come down and I can see the blades quite clearly, but now the screws are slightly blurred. Depth of field. A major part of photography. So what we've looked at for the first three and they're the main three is ISO, shutter speed and aperture. How you juggle these three will determine how your photo works.